Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back again to another session of one question a day. Today's discussion, we will see the question of the types of symptom can be a part of an essay or a short notes by itself. The classification has to be, there are several types, two or three types, based on the presence or absence of symptom, cementocytes, based on the presence or absence of cementocytes, symptom can be classified as acellular and cellular symptom. A cellular is absent of symptom, presence of symptom, cellular. Based on the presence or absence of fibers, symptom could be fibrillar or afibrillar. Fibrillar is further classified into intrinsic fibers and extrinsic fibers. Salient difference is intrinsic fibers are produced by cementoblast itself, whereas extrinsic fibers are produced from PDL. And intrinsic fibers are parallel to the root, whereas extrinsic fibers are perpendicular to the root. Salient difference two. I repeat again, intrinsic fibers are produced by the cementoblast themselves. Int extrinsic fibers are produced from PDL. Intrinsic fibers are parallel to the root. Extrinsic fibers are perpendicular to afibrillar symptoms. There is no fibers. Therefore, putting together types of symptom can be acellular extrinsic fibers, acellular intrinsic fiber, acellular afibrillar, or acellular mixed. Cellular intrinsic, cellular mixed, cellular mixed stratified. These are the types of symptom or possibilities. The predominant difference between acellular and cellular is acellular is the primary symptom or first form symptom. Formed as cellular symptom is secondary symptom and form later, usually after eruption. Cementocytes are usually absent in acellular. Cellular symptom present. Cementoid is a characteristic feature of acellular symptom, whereas cementoid is rarely seen in cellular symptom. A cellular symptom seen from CEJ, cemento enamel junction till the apical third, whereas cellular symptom is usually seen in the apical third and interradicular region. Present A cellular present in all single rooted tooth, whereas you can find mostly the cellular in multifunctional or multi rooted tooth. Main function of cellular A cellular symptom is anchorage, whereas main function is here cellular is. Repair and adaptation. Very important difference. A cellular symptom contains extrinsic fibers, Sharpies fibers. Mostly contains intrinsic fibers. The most common variant here in A cellular is A cellular eccentric symptom, whereas in cellular it is cellular intrinsic symptom variant. Incremental lines of Salter are closely spaced. Incremental lines of Salter are spaced apart in cellular symptom. The rate of symptom deposition is very slow in A cellular, whereas in rate of symptom deposition is fast. It is believed that the cementoblast that secretes A cellular symptom is from the HERS. It is believed that the cementoblast of cellular symptom is from the dental follicular cells. The action of parathormone, proteoglycans, growth factors, and non-collagenous proteins such as CAP or NCPs or not there in a cellular, whereas cellular protein, cellular symptom responds to parathormone as proteoglycans, as growth factors, and contain non-collagenous proteins. Of worthy mention is the cellular mixed stratified sodium, which has alternate layers of cellular and acellular symptom, like your layers of onion. A cellular afibrillar symptom is characterized by absence of symptoms, cementocytes as well as fibers. The clinical significance of the fibers and the symptom content is hypophosphatasia, where there is total absence of symptom, resulting in loosening or premature loss of anterior deciduous teeth even. Hypophosphatasia, cemental tears due to trauma, fragments of symptoms are detached from the root, which could be lying down in the periodontium as complete separated entities found in PDL or incomplete separation where it is still attached to the root. And it is often due to age-related trauma or increased occlusal loading, trauma from occlusion. They cause pain, loss of periodontal ligament and accumulation of pain and leading to subsequent mild gnawing pain. 
Cementicles are broken calcified cementum incorporated into the PDL or adjoining alveolar bone. With that, we come to an end on the discussion on the types of cementum. If called for, you have to write about all of this. Stay connected with this channel and learn at least one question a day. Happy learning.